Hello everybody, Michael here and today I'm gonna install the make command onto my Windows machine and I'm gonna use my packet manager Shoko, Chocolaté, to do that. So follow me here. So the basic idea is to install the make command because I use make files to sort of compile, build and test my uh, some of my programs, some of my projects and uh, yeah, basically I just need it. And I wanted to be working with the git, uh, the git bash, git bash terminal. So let's open the git bash terminal just to see that it's not currently installed. So I'm gonna go with make, make. So it's this command that I want to be working here in the, uh, uh, in that git bash terminal. But it did not, so I need to go ahead and install it. So, to my help here, I have some sort of, uh, well, uh, some instructions on how to do it. So, I'm going to use the chocolate. So, I'm going to open up this sort of link here and install chocolate. So, this is a this is a packet manager for Windows. So if you install this, you can install other packages onto your window machine and they will be added to your path and you can execute them. And in general, sort of small useful utilities that you uh, might want to have. Like now, my make command that is not sort of basically available since it's a Unix command. So, I have, I have, I already have Shoko installed on my machine, but I'm just going to show you how it could be done. Let's see uh, here. So it's basically this command that I want to run. So I'm going to copy that command and I'm going to do it in an elevated PowerShell. So I'm going to run it as administrator. Because it's 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 going to make a lot of changes onto my computer, and those changes need administrators, right? So I'm going to paste in the uh, the installation scripts here, and I'm just going to ex execute it. However, since since I already have this existing chocolate installation here, so I am basically done. But you could sort of do this to install the Shoko and when you have installed the Shoko packet manager you can execute it like this Shoko and we can check what version we oops that was the help text Shoko lot of help text how can we just I just want to print the version can I do that somehow help debug verbose trace a lot of stuff Okay, I really don't care. So Shoko, oh, well, it gives me the version anyway, default command. So I have Shoko. Okay, so now I'm going to install the make command. So make is a package here, so I can use this link to go in there and see. So it's the GNU make I want to install on my computer. And there is the script, so maybe I just copy it and I go to my PowerShell here and I'm going to pass it. Oops, no, I'm not going to do that at all. Where are we? Stupid terminal. So I'm going to I'm going to do it like this. Shoko, install, make. Let's just double check. Shoko, install, make. There it was. Okay, so let's go. Here we go. Go. I said go. Install. Thank you. So now we're going to install the make. Make. Oh, it's already done there. Okay, thank you. So let's see if we can execute make directly here. Oh yes, we could. We got an. Uh, we got an error message somehow from. Um, from the make command as so that's fine and we can check what version we have on the make command also so we got GNU make 4.3 excellent so that's basically it so now I can close that down and I can go to git bash and I can try it out make 
Excellent. Ah, and you know what? This worked maybe, but if it doesn't work at your at your computer, then you most likely need to restart the git bash. And you can just open it like this. So let's restart because uh, if this is the first time you install it on your computer, you need to set up the uh, sort of uh, paths and so. So if it doesn't work the same first time, just restart the git bash terminal and then execute the command. Yes, it works. Make minus minus version. So that's the way to install Make on your Windows machine using the Chocolaté uh, Packet Manager and the GNU Make package from there. Okay, good. Not too hard. See you in a bit. Bye bye.